Okay guys, so let's look at a problem to find the distance between two points where you have the x and y values of the points. So let's see our point P1. It is given by its x and value, y values as x1 and y1. And I have another point P2 where the coordinates are x2 and y2. We know the distance formula. The distance formula is square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. So how many operations do we have? We have a subtraction operation. We have an addition operation. We have to find the squares and we have to find the square root. Now square is given by a pedo a w function where you write what variable comma 2 this will give you the square. And square root is given by sqrt where you write the variable name and this will give you the square root. Both of these belong to the math.h header file. And pow gives the answers in float. Okay. Anyways, our answers of x and y can be in float, can be in integer. Since float can also accept integer values and just write 0 0.00, let's go ahead and write it as float. So I'm going to have float x1, x2 and y1 and y2 is going to be the uh, coordinates. Write all the scanf statements needed to take the input from your user. Now let's do this where first we'll find the squares and then we'll find the square roots and then we'll combine everything together. So first I am, I'm going to leave this open for now because I have to keep declaring variables. I'll close it in the end. So let's say uh, I want to find the squares. So I'll write sqr. The squares is actually x2 minus x1 square. So write x2 a little big because we don't have subscripts here. x2 minus x1 the square. So this comes in your POW function plus POW function of y2 minus y1 raised to 2. So this does the job of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. This is being achieved by this equation. Now distance will obviously be the square root of this variable which is sqr. Okay. You can combine these both and write it as we will start from inside and we will go outside. Okay. So first I have x2 minus x1. I have to find the square of that. So comma 2 and the pow function and add it to y2 minus y1 the whole raised to 2 so this comes in your my pow function now i have to find the square root of the entire thing sqrt is equal to distance once i find this i can easily go ahead and print f the distance by writing distance is equal to percentage f and write dist or another way is replace this variable with this entire equation and you can avoid this and this and this also and everything comes together. We will start with big and we will slowly break it down and end up in that single uh, formula where you write everything in printf statement. Let's do this in the code. So we will start with declaring the coordinates which we have. So I will start with float x1 comma x2 comma y1 comma y2. Now we need some more variables. I will go about declaring that also later. So I will say printf enter x and y values of point 1. So let's just say p1 and scanf percentage f percentage f ampersand x1 comma ampersand y1. I'm going to copy the same thing for point P2. So control C, go ahead and paste it. This will be P2 
and these values will be x2 as well as y2. So once I've got that, uh, let's see, we'll find the square of the distance first and then we'll find the uh, other square root part. So uh, let me say the square uh, distance part, I've put it as d itself. So I'll declare a variable d over here. Now d is equal to the square and the addition part should be done. So this is going to be x1, uh, x2 minus x1. So it is x2 minus x1, the whole square. So this will be power function of x2 minus x1 comma 2 and plus power function of y2 minus y1 comma 2. So comma 2 not here after the bracket. So this should be comma 2. Yes, so we have found the square. Now, distance is equal to square root function of d. So, this is the x2, x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square is being done here. And this is the square root. Next, you can go ahead and print f slash n. Distance will be percentage f and you're going to print dist. So, I think, yes, we have to also declare DIST over here. And yes, since we're using power function and square root function, we have to include the maths.h library file. So, we'll go ahead and run uh, the program. Let's say enter x1 and y1 can be, let's say, uh, 1 comma 1. Let's say it's on 1 comma 1. And point 2, let's put, put as the origin, 0 comma 0 and go ahead and it prints 1 because 1 will be the distance. Shorten this to 0.3f and uh, let's try something else. Uh, hmm. Okay, so let's try uh, 2, 2 and 1, 1 and the distance is 1. So, you can change the unit as per whatever you wish to. You can put it as 1 centimeter or anything. Now, how to shorten it down is I want to remove this d and distance. I just want this much. So, this power function, I am going to copy the entire thing in place of d over here. So, in place of d, I will be writing the entire d's value. And in place of distance, I will be copying the entire thing. Control X and pasting it over here. Now remove these two and I'll give some space so it, you can easily see it. Square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square which is in power, this power function and this is y2, sorry, this is y2 minus y1 the whole square which is in uh, y2 y minus y1 the whole square. So go ahead and uh, you can run it once again. Let's say this is 2 comma 2 and 1 comma 1. So the values, yes, it should have been 1.414. Okay, thank you.